So, Running Fever episode 184. We're here at uh, Lake Weddington Recreational Area. First time here, so I'm getting some video, and it's beautiful. Beautiful lake. <laughs> I walk really fast and I don't get it. But that's also what they tell me it works. Yeah. I work really fast and I walk really fast and I don't take it. It's pretty nice. It's actually, yeah, and it's cooler in the shade here. It's like 81, 82 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Do you have your camera on? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I would, uh, first time I go to a place, I usually try to get some video. Oh, yeah. nice. I just realized that I don't have to put it on the front of my head. I can put it on the side of my head. Okay. And that way I'm not just taking a picture of the, your back all, <laughs> you know, the whole time. I mean, you could walk first. Or the trail, you know, I mean, the lake's a lot more interesting. Yeah, this is nice. Out here, have advertising for Arkansas. Right, yeah, classic, classic photo there. It's at the natural state. Yeah. 
You set it on a timer? Or? Yeah, I just never turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> doing a lot of beeping. Yeah. Let me get a picture of you. Sure. You want like leaning up against a tree? Oh, you're fine, man. <laughs> It's good. I just, uh, I can really feel my limitations in terms of speed and just eye hand eye coordination and I don't know if that will improve over time as I play more or if it's just the way I am. Well I know I mean I expect my skill to improve in my uh fitness, cardiopulmonary fitness, so that I, you know, yeah, I mean, and I don't really have an endurance problem or a, I'm not out of breath or anything like that. It's just, it's just really coordination, it seems like it's my problem. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not quick enough for that. Ball and those balls are, you know, racquetball is pretty fast. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of light, but it like it's really fast. yeah, unfortunately, you can't bring a guest. I mean, you, you can get a day pass for 20 bucks, but it'd be nice if I could bring a guest in without paying that much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, when I was doing physical therapy for my knee a uh, year and a half ago, actually, it wasn't. No, that wasn't. Anyway, when I was doing physical therapy, after I was done, you know, with the insurance covered 14 weeks or whatever, they uh, had this offer for, I think it was 100 bucks a month, you could come in and Use the equipment, and of course they have to be with you when you're using the equipment. And because it's not a gym. Right, yeah. I mean there's well there's gym equipment there, but the really high tech stuff they'd have to work for you or supervise you in some way. So uh, but that seemed pretty steep to me and even though the equipment is pretty impressive, uh, of course now I'm paying eighty bucks a month for the Fayetteville Athletic Club. Drove here. Yeah, it's not actually as far as I thought. I was worried I was going to be cut a bit later. Well, that's just right in your area, though. No, oh, it is, yeah. It's like a. Yeah, it's like 45 minute drive for me in traffic. Uh, 
or actually less than that because I got started a little bit later than I wanted to. Yeah. Right. Wasn't as bad as I thought it would be actually. Wasn't as bad in terms of traffic. Yeah. Um, so. Has uh, university started yet? And we moved in last Thursday or Friday, or Thursday and Friday. And I think she said she had two weeks by herself. Oh, that's cool. You gotta get the butterflies down the way. Butterflies? You see them? There we go. Let me see how close I can get a little So, Running a Fever, episode 184. We're here at uh, Lake Weddington Recreational Area. First time here, so I'm getting some video, and it's beautiful. Beautiful lake. It's about 3.3 miles around the whole thing, but I don't think we're going to do it all today. Very privileged to have Robert here because he has a very important job now. His uh, son was born just a couple weeks ago. Why are there so many sticky things? Am I bleeding? Oh, that was from, that's from uh, racquetball. And I actually, I was wearing uh, sleeves on my knees too, so it burned right through it. Uh, I fell, slid along a wall or something. But, uh, anyway, yes, anytime you want. It. If you want me to turn it off, I'll turn it off. Does the camera pick up sound as well? A little bit, yeah, but. Uh, no, yeah, that's why I always. Oh, I guess I got a hole in my pocket. <sighs> Forgot uh, about it. Sorry, I got a zippered one over here. That's good. No, I thought it was going to pick up like hard, hard, hard. You could do wild, but. You could do that. Absolutely. One of my favorite things to do in Hawaii is going to. A wildlife pond. There's, there's, there's acres of square miles, so maybe even acres. More like 1,500 acres uh, of very specific ecosystem in Hawaii. Uh huh. Only place the ecosystem exists in the entire world. And it's diminishing extremely rapidly. It seems like. Pardon? Go ahead. So we went to this. At first, they emphasized the birds, but there are other things too. It's the only place to get the birds' nest in the whole world. And I, and what I, kind of birds? I don't remember the, the names for them. I just know they're North American equivalents. They're like egrets. And I don't know exactly where the trail goes. We always go right. Okay. I, I assume that goes right back to the trail. Okay. So we'll figure out what happens once we get across the dam. We'll decide if the trail continues or if the line continues. 
probably best we go the way that you're used to going because I do have appointments today. So I can't just go wandering around. Can you help you? Yeah. So here's the deal. Um, wow, this is kind of overgrown here. Okay. Let's have jeans on. All right. I don't see anything. This is way more overgrown than I expected. Yeah. Actually, this online, they said this online. It'd be nice if they'd kind of, somebody would maintain this a little bit. This is, uh, I don't, you know, let's go back a little bit. This is what? This is a federal property, isn't it? Or something like that. It's not a state park. It's a national so federal, yeah. It's uh it's called uh recreational area. I wanted to see if the trail continues. So we're so coming back up to it more more down. I'm following my trail guide or my trail guide yeah, instinct. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they, they said online, they said, uh, just go straight ahead across the dam and you, you'll be fine, but, uh, I did it. yeah. Hmm. I guess it's just the trail, the, the trailhead is for just this really short loop. Oh, uh, okay. I know if we're going across the dam if you want to. Yeah, why not? Your, what what are that houses, though? All right, so. But, um, get a nice picture on the dam here. Yeah. Three pictures. Why is it how many butterflies? A lot of butterflies. I don't know. You say what kind? No, 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 no. Uh, so... Oh, this is, wow, look at all these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good little video here that I can cut in of some 
butterflies. I don't know if I can make this actually a podcast episode. I mean, people like the park videos a lot, uh, but um, I don't I don't know if this is going to be interesting enough as just audio. Oh sure. So I might have to just not do an audio version and do this as only a YouTube video, which I've done before. Wow, this is amazing. My grandfather will be very interested in this. And you can get butterflies with the skyline in the background. But I would think nature photography, wildlife photography, would be a lot of waiting. You know, waiting for the right thing. Yep. Or just being extremely non-discriminate. Just take photos of whatever. Well, yeah, but still, if you go if you go around, you may never see something worth. Oh, true. You know, we just happen to come during. Yeah. Looks like so you have to spend a lot of time out. You know. And do a lot of research. Right, right. Similar to fishing, actually. Well, I guess you get to know areas where things happen. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, I like, I'm particularly interested in, in birds and insects. I mean, you can find insects. You just have to know where they are. You're an interesting guy, Robert. Why? <laughs> I don't know, I just keep finding out things about you I never knew, you know? I mean, I, I wouldn't even really call it a hobby, but I'm just, I find insects very fascinating. And I'm definitely recommending you take a shower when you get, when you get home. Well, yeah, I'll have to. Oh yeah, I'm soaked. It's worth it though. Oh yeah. And I haven't taken a single photo of the skyline. I'm not really into landscape photography. Yeah, I've got tons of photos from the dam at Lake Fayetteville. They're just beautiful sunsets, sunrises. Yeah. Um, wintertime, all seasons, because I've been going there for almost two years now. Oh, yeah. I should say that when we were in Hawaii, I took a lot of landscape and sky photography. But it's kind of stuff that that just doesn't happen here. Yeah. Volcanoes and other things. Right. Smoke. And out of volcanoes. Yeah, I remember Thailand being like one of the most beautiful sunsets that I've ever seen. In the ocean or mountains or both? Ocean, yeah. Oh man, we've got to go back through this. Yeah. <laughs> we can turn and go back if you want to. This is pretty harsh on my bare legs now. Okay, we'll go back. And I'll go first. It's not bothering me at all. I'm just wet. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not that bad, but it's starting to get to me. Yeah. Maybe with my uh, slight injury from this morning. No, I, I should have 
I should have warned you. I was not expecting. I should have known because I saw. I mean, I'm seeing it's a hiking trail, and just I don't know. Why, why don't I understand that it's a hiking trail? <laughs> you know, it's not. It's not just like Lake Atalanta or something. The big wide concrete. You know. Yeah. Salt Park Trail. Yeah. I. So, do you guys have like one of those bicycle trailers for Elijah? We do not. Brittany is that. I don't think we ride regularly enough. Yeah. And I also feel like I'm not an experienced and safe enough bicyclist. Right. For that to be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, a friend of mine was, uh, I saw him out on Lake Fayetteville one time and and he, uh, you know, was dragging his uh, daughter along in the trailer. He said she loves it. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, no, it's totally, it's a thing. Uh, I wipe out enough just by myself. Yeah. I don't really want a trailer. I mean, they, they, look, they look safe. Mm -hmm. Even if they upended and even got hit by another bicyclist or something, I'm sure the baby would be fine. But I'm worried the torque on the back would hurt my bike or something. I've always uh, had kind of mixed feelings about bicycles, you know, because of, you know, where can you ride them that's safe for yourself and others? Right. Because um, the, the Razorback Trail is nice. Um, the Greenway? Yeah. I don't know why they call it the Greenway. It's just like goes through the city and parks and stuff. But yeah. uh, it's a, but uh, you know, a lot of that is people walking, and I a lot of cyclists ride by me, and they're just way too fast, and that's dangerous. But if you're gonna ride a bike, you know, you want to put some effort into it, and if you go on the street, it's dangerous for the cyclist. Right. So. I guess the way to go would be to find some back roads or something. Yeah, but then you have to worry about guys pulling cattle trailers or something. Yeah. Because I, like, out on Vining River, the same road we rode in, or I rode in on. Yeah. I've taken my bike out there. And if it's just sedans on their Sunday dr drive, it's not that bad. If you get somebody who's in a hurry or a wide load, you got to pull over in the grass. You have to get out of their way, mm -hmm. and that's that's not fun. When you're on a street bike, pulling off into the gravel on the shoulder, it sucks. Yeah. Especially when you feel like you're being forced over. Right. So I don't know. I mean, I guess I probably would ride it on the Razorback Trail, but you know, I would just have to be. I would definitely try to be more courteous and go slower most of the time if I yeah. saw people on the trail but yeah. I mean, there's guys that just go speeding right by you at probably 40 miles an hour yeah. and they're probably uh, the people who do it like four or five times a week yeah trail. yeah and they they know how to go fast they're used to going it's fast. yeah but still it's Even so, yeah. it's not it's too fast to react to something a person does in front of you and I think the speed yeah. limit on the trail is supposed to be 20 miles an hour. It's 15. Oh, is it 15? Yeah, okay. but, but people, I mean, there are no, you know, trail cops right. <laughs> to write you tickets. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, nobody, I'm sure people pay attention to it. I have. I've never walked or ran faster than 15 miles an hour. So, oh, no. so I've always obeyed the speed limit. <laughs> I was looking up. And I, I have a really hard time remembering the number. The you know fastest human being moving under human power by you know, on foot, like thirty point one miles per hour. Which, when you think about it, is ridiculously fast. Well, I can walk three miles an hour easily yeah. on the trail. That's usually what I do. Four miles an hour is no problem for anybody. 
So if you're running, I would think, yeah. It's, I mean, at that, at that speed, you'd run a marathon in 50 minutes. Well, we've got bees and butterflies just working away here. That stuff must really taste good. It, wow, it's extremely ironic. You know, in the cow pasture, you spray these and cut them down. Because they, if they get bailed up in hay, it's a bad deal. Oh, you were you were talking about butterflies on your place, right? Yeah, Granddad wanted us to grow some butterfly bushes. Uh huh. Unfortunately, that would never happen. In Arkansas, butterfly bushes are considered a weed. So agricultural people and residential people spray for it and cut it down. And it's, I think it's the infection, a relatively delicate plant. So it's, it's becoming, if not an endangered species, at least a, an alert species or whatever it's called. Uh huh. But it's the only plant that monarch butterflies eat. So in Arkansas, it's right in the right in the path of their migration. Uh huh. So and they only exist in North America. Oh, well, it's so too bad. If these flowers aren't there, like I mean, I guess places like this is where you're going to find them, right? Yeah. And they're similar to the we call this just call this thistles. Yeah. They're similar to those thistles, but they're not terribly attractive. Thistle. And they're, they're the ones that you walk through it'll tear your leg open. Don't want that today. No. I guess we'll follow the trail of this way. And this is just assuming it's a loop. Keep the lake at our left. If the lake ever doesn't, if the lake ever stops being at our left, it means it's not a loop. Yeah, there's supposed to be a loop around, uh, but I guess some areas are not very trail-like, <laughs> kind of like what we just went through. Yeah, I'm wondering, like that takes off again. I don't have any idea where that goes. I'm gonna just gonna follow it to the corner. I bet that's the trail that goes around the lake. Oh yeah. And no one just, no one goes around the lake. Well, some people do. Well, yeah, I mean, some people, enough to maintain a somewhat of a trail. So when do you have to go back to work? Friday. It's coming Friday. Yeah. As an aside, all of that light green yellow stuff. Uh-huh. I recognize this poison ivy. Even growing up the tree there. Uh-huh. And that'll that puts chemical burns on me. It looks like someone poured acid on my legs if I get into it. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you're allergic to it or not. Well, I don't know. I haven't really... I don't. I doubt it, you know. I'm going to go home and scrub in the shower when I get home. Yeah, me too. Here, Mike. What? Deer. Deer? Yeah. I don't see it, but in these parks, they're not very scared, usually. No, I just cut the rump of it. You might actually have gotten it on camera. Maybe, on camera. yeah. Yeah, I just didn't see it with the naked eye. Well, you know what? When, you, when they don't give you a title, what you do is you make up a business card and you make up your own title. Right. Like, I think my boss decided one time he was going to be... Really? He was going to be the, uh, uh, I, like, I don't know, vice president, king of all supreme commanders or something like that. Right. So, uh, but, you know, you could put uh, executive consultant yeah. for, for what he's doing. Uh, so do you know where we are? I don't. I was just thinking about I don't that. see any lake. I don't either, but I hear the road. Okay. How much time do you have? Well, I, I, I've got plenty of time. Um, if I leave here by 
you know, 10. Oh, we'll do, I'm sure we'll get to the yeah. 10. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'm just heading back towards Highway 16. Okay. That works for me. Lead on. Okay. So how many times have you been here? I've never actually been on this spot. But I've walked that trail probably three or four times. Uh-huh. Just up and down. If I walk the trail, I mean, I've come here fishing. Right. Yeah, you've been out here. So over a course of how many years? A uh -huh. I've been here since I was a kid. Since you're a kid, right. And you're 30 now? Yeah, right at. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. It does cut back. Okay. Well, I, I'm sure I'll be out here again because um, it's so close and um, looks pretty nice. Except it is kind of overgrown in places, but but that'll be different. That's a different view. Yeah, and uh -huh. it came out early spring. Really, I came out here and it was just grass. So and all, it, that, all that brush goes up. And it's not. I mean, in terms of like rocks and stuff i can see why they say it's it's more of a better, uh, an easy trail yeah because it's not i mean altitude wise and there's not a lot of big rocks you got to climb over and mm. stuff like that i mean even devil's den that yellow yellow whatever yellow rock trail yeah, yeah. yeah that one is quite a bit more difficult than this one yeah yeah that too of course, this is a lake, so what, what would you, you know, you would expect. I heard a lizard. You heard a lizard. You have super senses. Yeah. It, it heard, sounded like a lizard flutter. You yeah. heard, you heard a rustling in you. A rustling, yeah. Lizards tend to run for like a foot and then stop. Uh huh. Whereas small mammals tend to run and run and run and run. Uh huh. You know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. I've heard a lot of rustling, even at Lake Fayetteville. Um, I don't doubt it. Spiders build these nests, these webs. I know. I've got spiders in my house. <laughs> well, I just, I don't know how they survive. You know, like, there are not that many insects in my house. Oh, right. So, you know. Oh, wow, yeah. Right in the middle of the trail. Which, I'm sure there's spider webs all over the whole landscape, but it does seem like they're always right in the middle of the trail. With the sun on it like that? Yeah. yeah well, my camera just only, only has an auto zoom, which I guess is the way all phones are in it. No, mine, can, mine you can pinch. And unpinch. Oh, can you? Yeah. You tried that? It'll zoom and unzoom. Yeah. Does yours have a... Oh, you turned, you're you talking about focus? Out of focus? Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with, with phones. I have that problem a lot. Well, hold on. It said selective focus. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Phone cameras have come a long way. Yeah, they have. I think it's just too small. Yep, we'll have some work to do today. <laughs> Hope you ate well last night. Right. But I think spiders are one of those things that only eat a few times a month. Probably right. It's kind of like snakes. It's a good point, yeah. I mean, if you can catch a fly as big as you are, then <laughs> you can eat off of it for a while. Right. Assuming their digestive systems are more efficient than babies. So what do, you, what do they do the rest of the time, you think? You think they just ponder the philosophical, you know, uh, dilemma of their life or the, their short life? Have you read The Lord of the Rings book? Yes. The evil spider queen? 
Uh, I don't remember that well. Uh, in the in the mountain range in between Mordor and the rest of the world. Uh huh. I think they sit and ponder the destruction and and uh, consumption of the rest of the universe. What dragonfly was almost invisible? Yeah. Very sleek. Yeah. But no, the, the evil spider thing is actually older than the star. Uh -huh. She's evil? Oh, she was completely evil. The evil spider queen. Her, her soul overwhelming desire was to consume everything. Eat everything. Wow. <laughs> Dude. They're everywhere. That was a really cool photo for me. My gut instinct was to reach out and get it out of my face. So. Okay. Why don't I go ahead for a while? I was going to say, there it is. Did you lose your hair clipping? No, I didn't use, lose my hair thingy. <laughs> I'm feeling more than I'm seeing. If there's one. <laughs> well, they're just spider webs. Maybe just, I don't know, a broom. Something we can hold out in front of us. Right. Oh gosh, I went right into a. <laughs> is it crawling on me somewhere? I see it. Yeah. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the sounds of me and my friend Robert traipsing through the woods at the new place that I've found, uh, Lake Weddington Trail. There's also a park and campground and such, and lots of spiders. So, uh, if you got the fever, keep it. If you don't have the fever, catch it. I'll talk to you next time on Running a Fever.